Welcome back. Rocky Lazarus is a guitarist of rare talent. You might find him playing in a pop or a rock band and the next day he could be playing a duet with a classical guitar player. We have a story on this versatile musician whose first guitar was a plank of wood. Rock's first encounter with the six-stringed instrument was at the age of seven when a lady came to the Karanzalin church with the intention of teaching the youngsters to play the instrument. At that time, none of the young boys knew what a guitar looked like. Yeah, I started around uh, when I was seven years old. Uh, that was, uh, we didn't even know what a guitar looked like till uh, somebody, uh, a lady teacher came to Karanzalan Chapel and uh, said she's going to teach guitar to lots of village children. So we couldn't know where to buy one to uh, because it was such, a, we were in a innocent minds and yet fascinated with the first instrument that we knew of as the box guitar. So we made a small uh, contraption out of, out of a wooden plank with uh, nails here and screws on the other end and nylon. And we used to tighten it with a screwdriver. So that was the first basic four string guitar. And uh, the frets were uh, sketched by pen. That was. From there, it was a long journey that took him to several music schools and teachers. He played in 38 bands, including the backup band for Remo. From the long-haired bass guitarist to the sublime notes of a classical guitar, Rock has travelled a long way. Today, Rock has made the nylon-stringed classical guitar his true friend. Apart from classical music, Rock is also equally at home with pop music. Listen to him play Faithful by Lobo and you will be as convinced as we are. For a guitarist committed to classical music, this might come as a surprise. When we asked Rock to give us the name of one musician or band which had the biggest influence on him, he chose Guns and Roses. Okay, as a child I used to listen to a lot of Guns and Roses music uh, and slowly they were not Guns and Roses that time, that was uh, different bands but I kept following up till in 1992 I heard the album uh, Use Your Illusion by Guns N' Roses and the song Sweet Child of Mine and November and really bowled me over so much so I said I must learn to play like this and the guitarist known as Slash and the singer known as Axel Rose these two people are the sole and source of my inspiration I even dreamt of going to LA and even if I had to lift speakers for them I would do that uh, this was the kind of power they had over my music so much so that I've named my son Axel after the singer of the band. And Slash is the guitarist that I try to emulate. Rock's journey certainly took him places and at the end of it he said enough bands. That was when he landed at the doorstep of Garden Central Studio and teamed up with Rui Lobo. The duo play at five star hotels and combine very well. Just listen to them play Willie Nelson's You Are Always On My Mind and You Will Know What We Are Talking About.
Music and rock are inseparable, unlike other musicians who hold regular jobs during the day and play in bands at night, Rock earns a living with his fingertips. He teaches music at the Color Academy and Garden Central Studio. But it's when the tourists arrive that Rock and Rui rake in the moolah. Uh, music is one of the most highest paying jobs. I can do an MBA maybe here because you have to know how to pull strings and especially with the hotel lobby. Uh, if you don't want to go to the hotel lobby, I don't think then uh, you can earn a decent living because all the musicians' money comes either from music schools, music tuitions, or from the tourist belt. And uh, it's, we are thankful to the government also because for providing young musicians with an opportunity. Musicians don't realize it, but it's because of the government and because of the tourism of Goa, we are, we are uh, living a decent life here. And with that, we leave you in the company of rock and the vibrant flamingo technique. With Tulsidas Chari, this is Derek Almeida for Goa 365. Before we end, here is a reminder of the headlines. Shikalim Panchayat backs people's fight against conversion of Kazan land. Rich tributes paid to Rajiv Gandhi on death anniversary. And that brings us to the end of this bulletin. We'll be back tomorrow with more news and analysis for you. Until then, goodbye and good night.